Hi, Malachi here from TR Lawn Country Life. Um, I just wanted to show you today how to do some summer care for rhododendrons and azaleas. Um, basically, they flower beautifully in spring. This is a rhododendron loderi to my left here, which is a lovely scented variety with very large flowers. And then on my left hand side is azaleas. So basically, they're the same family. And the, what they really need essentially in Ireland here is a kind of moisture and a little bit of shade, and they love acidic soil. So there's been a whole range of composts and feeds, especially for uh, rhododendrons and azaleas, because uh, if you're in parts of Ireland that have limey ground, they need, the soil needs to be corrected for them. So if you are potting up into a pot or on a, a new plant that you're planting into the garden, you can use ericaceous like this here. Uh, that's compost that has been especially acidified that they really would like. Um, also we have feeds like this one here, which is a Miracle Grow brand and that feeds for six months, so it's basically a pellet that slowly releases the feed, uh, which makes, makes it really easy for planting actually, you know, so you just shake on the pellets and they will feed it for six months. There's also a liquid version here, which is a Miracle Grow brand as well, uh, and the liquid ones are very fast acting, so the plant will take it in very easily. So if you have a plant that's already yellow, uh, the liquid ones will be faster to work as such, you know, to green it up. Um, so essentially the summer work as such is really only to remove last spring's old flowers. So you can see here in this plant here, there's uh, the remnants of the old flowers. So with your fingers, actually, they can quickly be snipped off. Uh, and the reason for that is they actually take up a certain amount of energy from the plant. Uh, I don't really want seeds, but I want more flowers. So that's why you would actually take off the old flowers to save energy. And at this stage then, this is a plant that's about six years old. So it would need a, roughly around a handful, for my case here. Uh, for a little baby plant, maybe a teaspoon, um, so you don't need to overfeed. It's better actually that you just use a little bit uh, less rather than too much, you know. So essentially all you do is you scatter this around the root zone here. Um, the plants will find it as the rain dissolves it, it will slowly release into the soil and the plant will take it in. And that will give you lovely dark green leaves here. So if your plant has yellow leaves or pale looking leaves, then usually it will be needing a good feed as such. Um, so I hope that helps any and thanks very much for watching.